Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Virgo's weekly love message. In this message, Virgo, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you this week. We're going to see what's challenging you and where this is headed if you stay in this energy. I'll clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So, Virgo, let's see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this week. So Virgo, the energy that's coming out here in this message is an energy of confusion, okay? I feel like there has been an ending between you and a particular person. The energy surrounding you this week is the death, the queen of pentacles, and the six of wands. So even though there has been a significant ending, and I feel like this has to do with a relationship, I also feel here, Virgo, that you're trying to put your best foot forward. You're trying to maybe act nonchalant about this breakup, about this person leaving. However, the underlying energy here, Virgo, is the Three of Swords. So this tells me that there's an energy of betrayal. It's almost like you feel like this person stabbed you in the back. Now, this could be a friendship. I feel like this is more of a romantic partnership. The challenge here, Somebody was exploring their options or somebody had too much going on in their energy, spreading themselves too thin. Okay. The seven of cups is an energy of options. The knight of swords is a quick moving energy. So it's almost as if there was an indecision. Okay. Not knowing where somebody should focus their energy, their time, their attention. The outcome here, Virgo, is this is come to an end. This chapter has come to a close. And the card that was falling out that I put back in the deck is actually the strength card. And it's interesting that that card was trying to come out because there is an energy needed present of acceptance, accepting that this has come to an end and picking up the pieces and moving forward. So let's clarify before we pull some advice. Now, if you find the message is helpful or resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So, Virgo, clarifying the death the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Wands is the temperance with the devil energy. So understanding that this relationship, this connection, had started to become very draining on your energy, okay? Possibly even a toxic connection. What I feel is coming out here, Virgo, is this is going to be almost a blessing in disguise. Rejection is God's protection, right? It's time to make a decision to put yourself first, to move forward. And that's part of the challenge here, Virgo, is you've been back and forth of, should I stay, should I go? Now, it's almost as if the cards that are coming out, you don't really have a choice anymore. It's almost as if, and for some of you, this may have even happened out of nowhere. But again the wheel of fortune and the outcome is telling me that this is a blessing in disguise so let's clarify the four of pentacles mm -hmm. so virgo the nine of wands the eight of wands with the ace of swords on the bottom of the deck it's time to be completely 100 percent honest with yourself about this person, about this connection, even if it's for a moment in time, it's time to separate. It's time to take a step back, realign yourself with your purpose, your path, where you see yourself headed. 
So let's pull a few cards out for your advice, guidance moving forward in this energy. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you find the messages helpful or resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. So the advice, guidance moving forward, Virgo, is the devil in the reverse, the world, the Ten of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. Where, and I know this is going to be difficult because you're really up in the air, but where you should try to focus your attention, Virgo, is letting go of this toxic connection, okay? What the cards are saying here, Virgo, is it's time to focus on the things that bring you joy, that make you feel uplifted, that bring you happiness. A lot of you have already come to this conclusion with the world energy present. This tells me that the message has been received. So the cycle is complete and it's time for you to move on. Let's pull a four truths message to sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. Be impeccable with your word. Create a beautiful dream. Your word can create the most beautiful dream or your word can destroy everything around you. Impeccability of the word only creates beauty, love, and heaven on earth. Create a beautiful dream. So Virgo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.